Hey everybody, welcome back to Letterman Row. It's Buck IQ. I am Austin Ward, and this guy needs no introduction over here, but it's Beanie Wells, and you know we're talking about tailbacks this week. When, when Ohio State puts up rushing totals like that, when Master Teague is rushing for 169 yards on the ground, getting people thinking that he's running and breaking tackles like a Beanie Wells in his prime, then we're going to get the guy in here himself <laughs> to break it down. Beanie, it's good to see you, man. Good to see you as well, man. I'm glad to be back in the chair, certainly. <laughs> It's been a, been a long time coming. We're still having to do it on Zoom, but uh, better than nothing. What did you think of, of Master Teague uh, and that Ohio State rushing attack and the win over Indiana? You know, I, I was – you know, I, I think in the weeks prior to, you know, the run game was something that I've been wanting to see kind of develop a little bit more with this football team. And I think the offensive line did a great job. I think we're now starting to see Master get a little bit more healthier and starting to hit his stride, man. So I'm excited about – the rest of the way for this football season is specifically this run game. Yeah, you know, you and I have talked about him a number of times, and um, you know, I guess Master Teague is a good example of why you don't want to make, you know, permanent assessments about players earlier in their career mm-hmm. because from year one to year two, he st- he added more things. Remember, we talked about an Indiana performance a year ago where he started to show a little bit more speed, um, and then you know he didn't mm-hmm. play that well in the Clemson game, but still. You know, he has another another year to grow, get stronger, and he just looks right. – I don't know, he looked more confident. He looked like a different player on Saturday. You're, you're always going to be a completely different player from year one to year two. And I think that's uh, something that us as fans now, being in the seat for me, you know, something I need to go back and realize too because you want to see that instant success right away. You want to see these guys be the finished product. And that just isn't going to be the case. I think it takes time for these young guys to develop. And, uh, you know, Master Teague is no different. All right, he certainly had it going, a career high on Saturday against Indiana. Beanie Wells in the chair, breaking it down for us on Buck IQ. Let's roll the tape. All right, Beanie, uh, you, you look at what Master Teague is doing, and, and a lot of this stuff, at least for this first carry here, it's going to look you know, familiar what you would expect from him. It's straight ahead rushing. Uh, he slips through a hole here, uh, and then he f- puts down and finishes physically. We knew he could do that, right? But this is, this is an example of what he's doing, uh, you know, maybe taking a little bit higher gear than what he's done the last two years. Certainly, right here, man, here you see him, you know, reading it, not getting too excited as young runners do and want to bounce that thing when it looks bunched up. He hits the hole, pits his foot in the ground, and goes. And one of the more undervalued thing, uh, things as a running back that I, I, I believe is running with your arms. And what do I mean by running with your arms? When you're going through that line of scrimmage, you're able to hit a stiff arm, it gives somebody a forearm, and that's what we see him do right here, using that stiff arm, getting through the line of scrimmage when it's not as clean as you would like it. And, and finish a great run right here. Yeah, I, th- I know that you like this part. Like, you're not, go- you're not going to tackle Beanie Wells or Master Teague just coming to throw a shoulder at a guy, right? I mean, that's, that's not going to work. No, you cannot do that whatsoever. Uh, this guy got big legs. I mean, he's super strong, super physical, and you got to bring your full body when you're trying to bring him down. From the side, it's not the best option, especially when you're not rapping. I know you like that. Breaking tackles, running through contact. Oh, man. You made you made a, a few you put up a few touchdowns a few yards like that. This is another example. That's certainly. <laughs> go ahead, B. No, I'm saying that's certainly one of the things you got to do. You got to be able to run through one defender, run through those arms. I know you've talked about that over and over. You got to make sure that you can win that one-on-one matchup. This is the thing though that you've mm-hmm. talked about the most for the, the last couple of years that you wanted to see from him. If he had this in his game, I think a lot of people open their eyes and, and turn their head at this carry. Certainly so, man. Here you see the offensive line doing a great job. And this is quintessential for a running back like Master Teague. You run, you put your foot in the ground, and go. And now, are you going to be able to go or are you going to be able to trot? Here we got a chance to see him go. That's something that Tony Alford talked about for some time is Teague speed. And we had never gotten an opportunity to see it. And here you got a chance to see it right there. It leaves everybody in the dust. Yeah, he kind of talked about that after the game, Beanie. It was like, yeah, I mean, I've, I've had this game. I was doing it in high school. Like, I, I'm a fast player. And it's like, you know, <laughs> we, we've heard that he could run these times. And it just it, it hadn't had an opportunity like this where he actually turned a corner and then pulled away. Like, this is, this is what an Ohio State running back is supposed to do. A hundred percent. I think that's why in the earlier parts of the year when we weren't seeing those 40, 50-yard runs. Everybody's kind of scratching their head like, what's going on? But now we see it in this game, and now we see it happen when he's more comfortable, getting more healthy. 
I mean, we cannot forget this guy's not even a year out of an Achilles surgery. So right. uh, I, I think he's going to be just fine, especially if he can st- he continues to run like he's doing. This is another part of his game. We've already seen that. Like we knew that if you needed a couple yards, nobody wants to tackle this guy at the goal line. He's done this, you know, three, four times already this year that if you're trying to meet him one-on-one at that goal line, he's going to win that matchup. Yeah, certainly not going to happen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but that's what I love. I love the running backs. And I always say, you got to be able to get me three when it's blocked for one. So you got to be able to give me that extra couple yards. And on the goal line, that's Master T to a T. Uh, he's going to get you those extra couple of yards, especially in those short yard situations. I know. And this one looks – it's it's certainly blocked – it's certainly blocked up for more than one here. I mean, those guys, you have to – I know you like you, – you always make sure to give that credit to the offensive line. He's – Master Teague is not doing this by himself. Oh, not at all. And that's one of the areas in which I think we've gotten better at uh, is in the run game, on the offensive line, opening up some more holes. And, you know, just lighting that fire underneath their butt and getting after guys, especially when you're in the trenches. And in the trenches, I mean, in the goal line situations, that's where the games traditionally are won or lost. So you got to be good up front. All right. And you've, this is the other part when you're talking about playing running back at an Ohio State level, NFL level, the vision. You see this. I mean, what's, what jumps out to you about the way he handles this? Oh, man. I mean, it, it's clear as day. It's blocked and designed to go a completely different way. But he's using his peris, as we like to say in the running back meeting room. And he sees that cutback lane, and he hits it. And that's something you have to be able to do as a running back. Uh, you can have a lot of things. You can have speed. You cannot have speed. You can have this uh, exceptional quickness, but everybody can't possess that. But one thing as a running back you have to have is the vision. And here you see that perfectly utilized by Master T. All right. Anything else you want to see from him heading into Illinois on Saturday? Oh, man, I want to see him continue to get more healthy, continue to get more comfortable, and continue to have runs like this. So I'm not screaming at the TV, uh, you know, when we're not getting those 40 and 50-yard runs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that momentum's coming. That's building Master Teague, making it happen, coming off a career high in that win over Indiana. Beanie Wells knows that feeling all too well. Appreciate his insights, as always, on the Ohio State backfield. He's Beanie. I'm Austin Ward. We'll see you next time at Letterman Row for Buckeye Cube.